what if I told you that you've been lied to your entire life? Maybe not your entire life, but... <clears throat> Have you ever played a, a ball-rolling game similar to Marble Blast or what have you, and there's a level about, ooh, you can spin your ball in the air? Um, Marble Blast Gold in particular has one of these levels. I think it's beginner level 8? I'm not 100% sure. I know that game too well. But um, the idea is that while you're in midair, uh, the motion controls, instead of moving the, you know, instead of turning the marble, will actually apply some sideways force to it. So that if you, you know, if you're falling and you're not quite at a ledge, you can sort of hold forward and it'll nudge your ball towards the ledge. Well, not only is this not how it works in real life, it's kind of the opposite of how it works in real life. So there's this scientific principle called the Magnus Effect. And um, what I have here is basically a slightly modified version of Quaternion that I've implemented this in. And uh, to get a little bit uh, technical or mathematical, the Magnus Effect basically is a force that a rotating object will encounter in the air, and it is proportional to the cross product between the... Uh, linear velocity and the axis representing the angular velocity of the body. And of course this is all relative to the air, so if there's wind that gets factored into the linear velocity as well. Um, so right now I'm trying to get this tower up, um, but you'll notice uh, it's, it's a little bit tricky. Ah, you see? Because right there, this is, this is why I think marble games aren't programmed to have the actual Magnus effect, because it goes exactly against your intuition. Your intuition is, oh, I'm not far enough forward, <clears throat> so I should hold forward, whereas in reality, you need to hold backwards if you want to, uh, if you want to get there. So, um, yeah, hold on, I'm trying to get these, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to enable these switches, but, um, and especially if you've played marble games before, not only is it going against intuition that you have as a player, it's going against your experience in ball rolling games. And so, as a result of that, it gets really tricky, and it, it sort of throws your primary gameplay loop out of whack, but it leads to some fun emergent gameplay, which I think you could potentially take advantage of if you were writing a game, you know, sort of based around it. So you see right there, I started spinning the ball backwards. And this is something that I think is a little bit more intuitive if you play a sport, because this shows up in sports all the time. Like, like this is what this is what pitchers use to make their fastballs quote-unquote rise instead of, you know, just going straight. They don't actually rise as much as fall more slowly, but, well, with enough of an exaggerated Magnus effect, you can get it to rise, but air isn't that thick in real life. <clears throat> so, yeah, so it's, it's, it's based on the velocity of the ball... It's based on the angular velocity, it's based on the radius, and then there are a couple more things that matter, like, you know, the, the, the um, density of the air matters, and etc, etc. But I think you can tweak the numbers to basically make it do whatever you like, if you, uh, if you want to. You know, it's not like you're being unrealistic, it's just, oh, your air is particularly thick. So now that I'm up here, let me demonstrate this in a bit more of a, uh, a drastic Okay, so if I just jump off of this, and you see I'm holding forward, but I'm falling backwards. I'm falling back towards the tower that I just jumped off of. And again, that's that's because that's how the air spins it. That's how that works. Whereas, if I hold backwards, you get something that's pretty freaking fantastic, and that is a little unexpected, and that I think is really cool. And now again, this is a little exaggerated, 
in in reality, you 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 it'd be hard to get this behavior, but um. But you can you can certainly find videos of this sort of thing happening in real life. Um, you know, people drop a ball off of a dam and spin it as it goes, and it creates some really interesting effects. Anyway, so watch this. So I'm going to jump off of this and then hold backwards as hard as I can and watch what happens. Whoops, okay. I sort of bounced, so... Oh, no, now I'm going all the way down. Okay, okay, this is fine. Yeah, um, again. Hard to get the intuition for it. Would not recommend just putting this in a, in a you know, standard ball rolling game. Like, I'm not going to do this infiltration simply because it violates what ball rolling games have been teaching people to do for years. But it is more physically accurate. So... Gosh, is this build-up even going to be worth the payoff at this point, given how many times I've fallen off of this tower? We will see. Alright, you ready for this? Yeah, so first off, it means you go forward, but then once you start going forward, again, it's the force is perpendicular to velocity, so it actually generates lift. And as a result, you basically gain the ability to glide incredibly long distances, depending on what you have your air density set to. Okay, I, I hit where the uh, death barrier would have been if it extended that far. That's why I just died. But yes... So, um, so what this actually reminds me of a lot is it, it really starts to remind me of the glide ability from, uh, the Spyro the Dragon games. It's very similar to that in sort of the intuition that you develop of, oh, this platform is far away from me laterally, but it's, you know, not all that much lower than me, therefore, but it is lower than me. Therefore, I can get to it. Like, that that sort of intuition is, is what you have to sort of rely on. So, like, for instance, I can get to that tower in the middle just by doing this. I might actually be able to get up onto the second level of it. Nope, nope, just the first level. Ah, but see, now I've gone too far. Now I've gone too far because it's not easy to break out of it. Except it actually is... All you have to do is start actually moving forward, but that's really counterintuitive. I guess another thing you could try just to see is you could try seeing what happens if you make a sort of reverse Magnus effect, where you um, where you spin the ball forwards and it generates lift. But that would then be neither physically accurate nor correspond to player intuition so at that point I, I you know it, it's it's a very questionable and just sort of weird mechanic I feel like all right let's try this again boom and now we're up here it was a difficult glide but very doable and let's see can I glide? Over to here. Ah! And see, again, again, the backwards intuition messes with me. Because I was going too far to the left. Instinctively, I start holding right. And by the time I realize, no, I'm too far to the left, I need to hold left. It's too late, and I'm already dead. So, again, really messes with your head. Anyway, uh, you're, you're probably expecting to hear a filtration update as well, um, because this is a, a, an actual video that I'm putting up on YouTube, which I haven't done in who knows how long. Goodness, it's been years. Uh, the update on filtration is that there is 
not much of a filtration update, except that things are continuing to go well. And the most recent level that I said I was working on on my blog, that's level 7 for those of you who... Ooh, okay, didn't quite have the height on that. Uh, that's level 7 for those of you uh, following at home. Um, that level is nearly done in terms of silver status. Um, I expect it to reach silver within, like, the next week or two. So that's, again, about a three-month cycle for each level in terms of the, uh, the development pace. But, again, don't read too much into that. My life gets sort of flipped upside down on a yearly basis these days, so, you know, especially with COVID. Why am I getting all kinds of lag all of a sudden? That does not bode well. I think it's probably because my computer is doing an antivirus scan. That makes it sound like it's scanning for antivirus. No, a virus scan is, is what I mean to say, I suppose. Alright, so now can I do this again without making a fool of myself? Good enough. Excellent. Right, well that's all I have to say. Just wanted to show off this sort of cool physics thing. Um, and I will see everybody next time. Hopefully, uh, maybe, maybe sometime I'll stream another, uh, another filtration level just to be bold. But no promises. See ya!